Hey you, come in a little bit closer. I got exactly what you need. I got this incredible discount shaker here for you. It fell off the back of the truck. It's exactly what you need. Hey you! Oh crap, it's a 5-0. All right, now that the 5-0 is gone, guess what we can get into making that cocktail? Now, today's cocktail is a Hawaii 5-0. And yes, that's right, it is based on that TV show. But which version? It doesn't really matter because the original version started in 1968 and the new version started in 2010. Both of which are excellent long running shows and they have a lot of glory shots of scenery of Hawaii. Because why wouldn't you? Hawaii is absolutely gorgeous. Anyways, this is a simple tropical style cocktail that you're just going to love. Let's get into it. Now this is a simple six ingredient cocktail and has all those fantastic tropical notes. And it is a shaken cocktail. So we're gonna start with our shaking glass. Slap it on the lid like so and grab your simple syrup. Now we're gonna start this off with an easy half an ounce or 15 milliliters. The next thing we're going to add is the first of our citrus notes. So what we're gonna do is move that off to the side, grab yourself your lemon, and what we'll do is we will cut this in half, we'll squeeze out half an ounce or 15 milliliters. And now that you've started with that, what you're gonna do is grab your lime, and you are literally going to do exactly the same. We'll just cut it in half, squeeze out a good half an ounce, or 15 mils, like so. All right, now that you've added that, you can get rid of this because you don't need it, take that off and grab your pineapple juice. Now I'm using a pure pressed pineapple juice and that means there's no sugar added, but we do need a total of three ounces or 90 milliliters. All right, now having added all of our tropical flavors, we're gonna start adding in the booze. Now you can use a light rum, a white rum, well, use whatever rum you really, really like for this. Now I'm using lamb's white rum. We're gonna use a total of two ounces or 60 milliliters. Awesome. The next thing we're going to do now is add the color blue. You just can't go wrong with the color blue. It's one of my favorite cocktail colors. And if anybody tells you you can't taste blue, they're wrong. Absolutely. But however, I'm going to use blue curacao, which is an orange liqueur dyed blue. We're going to use two ounces or 60 milliliters. Look at that color. Absolutely fantastic. However, there's something that I don't have on here. And you know what that is? A little bit of Ray and Nephew overproof rum. We're just gonna kick this cocktail up a little bit. It'll give us a little bit of that rum funk and just boost that alcohol level. And what we're going to do is add one ounce or 30 milliliters. And that's gonna give us a bit of a kick. So technically we're looking at a seven ingredient cocktail, but you know what? It's gonna be fantastic, I guarantee it. So what we need is some ice. And we are going to shake this. You don't need to shake it too long, maybe a good 10, 15 seconds. But as always, make sure your glass is full. Pour that in like so. Make sure you got a good seat and shake it with a smile. Yeah, pop that off with the strength of a thousand non-existent pineapples. What we're gonna do after this is we're gonna put this in your favorite glass. Now you can have it in one big glass or in this case, because I want two of them, one for me and one for my son behind the camera there, what we're going to do is just use two tall glasses with a couple of pillars of ice, just like so. And all you'll do is just using your Hawthorne strainer, fill them up, right? So just pour one in like so. Now you get some of that foam because of the pineapple juice and just fill the next one too. Oh yeah, look at that. Absolutely perfect. Just gorgeous. It incorporates the colors so nicely once you add that shake in there. Now, I'm only gonna garnish one of these because I like some cherries. My son doesn't like cherries. And you know what? 
I'll just slap a couple of red neon cherries in here. Theoretically, I could actually pin some. I can pin some. <laughs> okay, so I've got a couple of nice cherries here, just like so. And look at that, absolutely fantastic. This is the Hawaii Five O. So let's give it a bit of a smell. So immediately, I get slight hints of pineapple, just a hint of rum funk, but I also get a little bit of orange. Throw your straw in there and give it a try. Oh, so good. It's light, it's easy to drink. The pineapple juice, the uh, lemon, the lime, and the orange blend together really, really well. The rum is there, but it's not overpowering. It just sits there, gives you a hint of that funk, and it's absolutely perfect for your afternoon cocktail. What I am going to do is put the ingredients and method of how to make these down in the description down below for you. And if this is your first time to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. You have a fantastic day.